is the Glass Cannon Network. Good evening and welcome to the show. Um, be a little behind the scenes, uh, curtain lifting. Get the screen out of the way and find out the truth. I'm your old buddy Troy. This is our first uh, recording that we've done in about a month uh, because I uh, I had a I had a baby, a third baby. Um, uh, I have a beautiful baby yeah. girl now. <laughs> Very exciting. Um, so I've got uh, Archer, uh, I've got Dash, and now a, a, a little girl, Evie. Um, very exciting. Um, however, I uh, I sometimes tune into the show on Thursday nights just to see like what kind of crowd we got of people enjoying the episode. And uh, for several of those episodes over the past few weeks, I've seen people make comments to the effect of, uh, oh, Troy's got that new dad look. <laughs> <laughs> Those that was a pre-existing condition, <laughs> and I am offended uh, that people would say that. <laughs> that haggard, uh, yeah. downtrodden, d- beat-up look. That was all before the third kid. Troy, can I just say though, you now have that post-pregnancy glow. Well, thank you. You know what? I was waiting <laughs> for someone to say that. I do feel like I'm glowing. Are your fingernails feeling terrific? They really are. <laughs> Um, yes, no, we, uh, we were, we've pushed back recordings now a little bit later and, uh, having just gone through the gauntlet that is bedtime now, it, we have, we need to start recording at 11 o'clock at night. It's really the only way that I'll be comfortable making sure that all three of them are in a, are ready for bed. But, uh, I'm excited to be back. I have not played a game in a month. Feels like yeah. a month, right? Yeah. yeah. Basically a month. You guys have played games. Not me. Yeah. We've played lots of games. Lots of games. <laughs> Kate, did you play yeah. any games? No, I didn't, because you know why? Uh, the Sims 4 came out with a new expansion, which is like great and all of that, um, but they added toddlers, or no, infants to the game, and it broke all my mods, so I, like, I can't play until all the oh. mods catch up. I yeah. swore you were going to say, so I too know what it li- it's like. So I do know what it's like to have an infant. No, I don't know what it's like. Kate's yet, got that new yet. Sims 4 DLC look about her. <laughs> I just re-downloaded all my DLC yesterday, so tomorrow I'll know what it's like. What is Wait, the DLC? What is, is the, the name of yeah, it? Yeah, is this a new one for Sims 4? It's a new expansion pack called Growing Together. This is oh. not, that, not sponsored. Wink, sponsor me. <laughs> yeah, um, please. And they added infants to the game and a lot of like family gameplay and like tons of crap, and it broke every mod. Um, wow. That is what you, happens with infants. Mm-hmm. That's true. Yeah. <laughs> They it's often will disrupt your kit. Do you have all the <laughs> DLC for Sims 4? Is yeah, there there's have? like two kits that I just didn't want, but I, I have all, it all and I have tons of mods. This oh. is the first time, I don't know anything about The Sims. This is the first time in the history of The Sims that there's no. infants? No, that's no, no, why no. I was asking. Oh, no, 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 no. It seems no. like a listen, really regular listen, part of no, regular no. life. So there's babies and they're basically objects. They stay in the basket and then they grow up to toddlers. And toddlers kind of walk around. Yeah, toddlers is like cute. Teens, uh, young adults, adults, elders. They added infant in between baby and toddler. So now you have this ee ee that like kind of lays around, and you can push it in a stroller or something. I don't know. Or occasionally crawls over and puts its finger in an electric socket. Yeah, (laughs) or its tongue. Yeah, exactly. Or it spits up on you five minutes before this, and you just throw a green hoodie over it. <laughs> and then you, and then you think hard. you've cleaned the shirt off, and then you and you throw it, you clean it, and you throw it in the laundry, and it comes out of the laundry, and just has a weird, like, greasy stain that's like oh. a continent on your shoulder. You're like, well, all right, I'll wear that shirt again. <laughs> <laughs> I was exactly. amazed by the spit up. How it would, uh, it would just be this tiny, tiny little baby, just go a little bit of spit up on on your shirt. You're like, ha ha, ah. And then you catch the whiff of that, like, stomach acid, and it smells exactly like your 200 pound buddy throwing up in a bathroom in college. (laughs) And you're just like, how did this little baby make this smell come back in my life? This is is ridiculous. 
Yeah, it, it all smells the same. The puke. It's so horrible. <laughs> puke is puke. Puke is puke, man. <laughs> <laughs> when's the last say. time you puked joe you big puker <laughs> no no i am not a big man i am so not a puker you never I pulled the it. trigger after a long oh, night of drinking just... I, I i'm telling you no never never once i also mm -hmm. never threw up from drinking never mm -hmm. once and i just wow. like brag. when i Humble have brag. the stomach flu like when i've got the full-blown awfulness I, it's amazing to me like how long i will go without pulling the trigger because i'm like I feel horrible. Like, I feel so horrible. And I'm like, if I would just pull the trigger, I'd get some relief. You know what I mean? And I, but I just sit there shaking. I'm like, I'll, I'm going to do it now. I'll, I'll do it in five minutes. I'll, it's the, it's the worst it. feeling. It's uh, a complete uh. loss of control. Uh. It's this, it's the worst thing. But then, yeah, you instantly feel better afterwards. But that moment is just, it's the yeah. worst. It's like having the like... alien chest burster come out of you. <laughs> <laughs> you know? The it really is. are like I bulging. Think... Yeah, it's the worst. To this day, I don't know if I've ever said it on the show before, but I think it is the one thing that, despite all of the great work that has gone into some of the greatest, most realistic movies I've ever seen and TV shows, no one ever makes throwing up look what it really looks like. Like yeah, it, it is impossible <laughs> to pull off. And it, like these like really, really dedicated directors, they still just put some in somebody's mouth and they go, <laughs> that's not what it's like. It's this like convulsive, like horrible, oh, like, oh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, your mouth is just wide open and shit yeah. is just flying out. Oh, it burns, your eyes are popping out of your head. <laughs> yeah, and it exactly. keeps going, it's like you get one, it's like, oh wait, but, here it comes again. Oh. <laughs> like, what's, what's left? Just nothing but acid. <laughs> right. and, then, yeah, then, and then it's just acid that's just scalding. Your entire, oh. your entire throat, yeah. Yeah, great. then you yeah. just dry heave for two hours after because your body is already like in it. I hate throwing up. I'm with you, Joe. Yeah, I am the, I'm also bad at it. Like I'm not, I know you, like nobody's good at it. It's like, you know, some people are beautiful criers. Nobody's a beautiful thrower upper. Like there's no way to do it nicely. But whatever the other end of that spectrum is, like the worst possible way to do it, that's me. I'm like... <laughs> coughing i like can't get the breathing right so it's a lot of like forceful coughing it is a nightmare for me to throw up and i had food poisoning re recently in italy when i went to italy oh, it was man. too much oh. delicious cheese and yeah. you know soppressata and grappa we call and imagine shrimp. Yeah, <laughs> a few oysters. I was in and a mountain a town. Trip. I shouldn't have had oysters in a mountain town, but uh, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> God, it was just like, yeah, I'm not good at throwing up. And uh, that was the most recent time I did. And as an adult, it's just so much worse. You're like, I should, babies do this. I oh. shouldn't have to do this. This yeah. is horrible. <sighs> Ugh. Babies kind of do it cute because they don't convulse. They're just like, eh, and yeah. it just falls out of their mouth. Well, there's but, spit up and then there's vomit. And sure, yeah. sure. It's just yeah. like, they, all of a sudden they're just like, Blech. The yeah. vomit is terrible. Yeah. Vomit, yeah. It's really scary. Like, oh, my throat's on fire. I need water. Oh, that's so much better. <laughs> 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 oh, I can't catch a break. <laughs> well, uh, anybody else throw up tonight? Uh, call in. Uh, tell us in the chat if you're big, big pukers. Um, <laughs> I think it's really bold of us, by the way, to take a, a firm anti-vomit yeah. stance. Yeah, it, it is a very polarizing topic. I'm surprised we all land on the we don't yeah. like throwing up Kate. side of throwing up. Kate, you've been really quiet, actually. Suspiciously quiet, some might say. Yep. You know what's nice sometimes about like puking? There you um, go. <laughs> So you feel better afterwards, but like my pukes are like the burpy ones. So it's like, <laughs> it's like <laughs> as you're doing it, and it kind of feels nice. Oh boy! <laughs> what? Which so we and bump. Yeah. Oh. No, I don't have like the super strainy kind. It's pretty controlled, I guess. I don't know. Lucky you. I wow. puke cute. What can I say? <laughs> I, so. I knew it. I knew you were a cute puker. Classic cute puker. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Uh, well, you guys are gonna puke tonight when you see what I have to throw at you. <laughs> throw up at us. <laughs> I'm, just, yeah, I'm just imagining like a Pathfinder encounter so intense that the players just start vomiting. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, 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 what's his AC? Oh, no. Have you guys, this is off topic, have you guys seen History of the World Part One? 
No. Of, course, of course, of course. So they made a TV <laughs> show. <decade. laughs> of course, of course, of really? course, of course. No. no. <laughs> um, they made a TV show, History of the World Part Two. You hear about uh, this? And you, hear you, hear about this? This? you guys hear about this? Um, has anybody watched it? Not yet. It's it's all right. It's pretty funny. There's some good writers on it. Nick Kroll is on it. I like his writing. But there's uh there's one skit where they're uh sailing on a big ship into D Day, and they're all in uniform. And they all just start vomiting, like co- comedically <laughs> vomiting one after another. And it's like they all have different reasons. One of them is like, I get seasick. And then another one's like, I left camp last night because we were in France and I wanted to try Escargo. And they're all just <laughs> vomiting on each other in this bunker ship. And then the captain starts vomiting. And it's like a classic. It's a classic vomit comedy. So if anybody in the chat loves vomiting, go check that out. It's good. Oh yeah, that was that was part of my formative youth. Was watching History of the World Part One. We had a, somebody, one of my buddies, had a VHS of it that cut off before the end. So we would just watch that over and over again. Oh, but I never saw like the last twenty minutes. The of previews, the, the previews for Part Two at the end. You never yeah. knew the preview. I've still never in seen. space and <laughs> you know they sell. <laughs> they, they're called uh, I think DVDs. Movies. Ah, I can't go back. I can't go back. <laughs> <laughs> Biggest stickers. Uh that's, Let's uh, talk. that's Life of Brian. Is that Life of Brian? Yes. What was, uh, there was something about a dick in his <laughs> Probably. Um, oh, it's Madeline Kahn when she's going, picking yes. up. Yeah, Thank yeah. you. Yeah. All right. I'm all, sorry. I'm on low sleep. <laughs> However, <laughs> it didn't take me a lot of sleep to do what I did here on Roll 20. Let's check it out. Um, do you see all the notes I have or are they hidden to you? They're, They're hidden. Hidden. Okay. Uh, they're Mission not, accomplished. They shouldn't be. They're on the token layer. <laughs> uh, oh, just, the, just the, the symbols on the... So the one time you want us to read all of the notes, it's not... A, it, you can't It's probably it. because it's hidden uh, behind the fog of war. Um, but I want you to see it. Um, so here's Why what I'm going to do. Why just drag it? Drag I'm going to drag it over you right there. Whoa. Okay. Oh, okay. So you can see the notes here. We have... Uh, this uh, this dude up top here, this denizen of Lang has because there was so much shit going on. I had to just rewatch and rescan. Has persistent fire four, three images, so all images intact, uh, and uh, Aldo is doomed one. And on our next row of people here, uh, my denizen of Lang is frightened one. There's one image. Uh, Eris has four images. That really should be three images. There's four total, but three images. Um, and Ethel has one d six bleed. And 1d4 mental, and Atticus oh. in, is invisible. Wait, Ethel has 1d4 mental persistent? Yeah, that's from... Is it from, persistent, or is it one time? Yeah, it's from the uh, Phantom John. Um, Whoa, that's... And, oh, that's and scary. then the guy down the bottom, that denizen of Lang, is flat-footed until he walks a cumulative 40 oh, feet. Oh, that's right, yeah. some fumble. Oh, uh, right, fan yeah. fumble. Only has one image left, and Suki has 1d6 bleed. Oh, yes. Okay, I forgot. Suki is the bear rug? Yeah, Suki I'm is the bear. bear. <laughs> I'm a normal bear. Uh, here's what, oh shit. Oh no. Before we start recording, Sydney goes, oh, I forgot I was a bear. <laughs> <laughs> oh great, I can move that back. I laughed and laughed. <laughs> um, you know what I'll do is just so you guys can read it, I'm gonna move it over to the side and then I'm going to reveal it to you on top of this little shed here. There you go. So everybody knows what's oh. what. So for the first time in glass cannon history, we get to see the wall. Yes. You know what? <laughs> Thank you God. Ended. Thank God. I'm just tired of working in these just little black boxes. Give us a little view. I show you too much. <laughs> well, now we know we can jump onto the roof. Excellent. <laughs> that show is- it to us. That is impassable. Uh, I'd like uh, to teleport onto the roof, please. <laughs> I see it on the map. This I is climbed why I don't out the window. All right, get ready to puke. It's the top of round four. Oh my god! And oh. it is the denizen of Lang's turn uh, to the south, the furthest one south, the one that is right next to Bleeding Suki. Um. <laughs> that her wrestling name? <laughs> Bleeding Suki Lang. <laughs> That's her, yeah, her bear wrestling name. <laughs> All right. Um, he is going to uh, slash at you with his kukri. First action. And that's going to be a 29 to hit. Your thick bear hide. 
Oh, God. Uh, yeah, that's going to hit. All right. Good. It's going to do 15 points of damage. Oh, brother. Uh, you already have the persistent bleed on there, so that's not going to stack. Uh, then, just because I can, I'm going to try and take a bite out of you with the second attack, and I'm assuming miss with a 21. Yes, that misses. Okay, and then I can't remember if you have an attack of opportunity now that you're a bear, uh, no. but I am going to back up into the uh, far corner of the room. Uh, and now it is, uh, let's see, he's got, uh, that's only uh, f- five, 10 feet, so I'm still flat-footed. Uh, I still have my image intact. Uh, all right, so it is Ethel's turn. Really? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Do you want to skip it? Cool. No, no, I want. I want it. I just thought I was gonna have to wait a little while, take a little more, uh, take a little more heat from everybody. Uh, I'm gonna go after. Ooh, I'm gonna go after the denizen of Lang to my south uh, to help my buddy Eris out. Okay. So I'm gonna do uh, the old double slice. The old double slice, eh? And I'm gonna do orange for the scimitar. Not that you can see that at home, but just so I keep myself honest. Remember, the scimitar is Vorpal. Okay. All right. Uh, I'm just keeping track at home. The scimitar is Vorpal. Uh, That's a 31 on the Warhammer and a 34 on the scimitar. That is two hits. Yeah, dude. Good start. Good good start. Um, Now, wait, they do have one image left, so uh, roll. Roll for the for the warhammer because assuming you're swinging with that first, uh, it is going to be with only one image left. Uh, it's a one to three or an, on a one d six. D six, you say? Eh? Yeah. Crack die. I bet. Five. Five. All right. So the warhammer destroys an image, and then there's no images left, and your uh, vorpal scimitar strikes of true. Yes. Of course, you would you would choose that way. That does uh, surprisingly less damage. You did um, say. Okay. Warhammer first. That is 12 points of damage from the scimitar. Okay. And then I am going to use uh, my. Um, I'm going to shove you. No, because I'm going to take the multiple attack penalty. How do I help Eris out? Good luck. Yeah, I know, right? Eris is just. <laughs> just want the help. Um. Okay, I'm going to try to demoralize this guy. <laughs> You're like, I'm going to try to demoralize Eris. You've learned <laughs> demoralize something Aris. from Eris. You suck at this. Demoralizing people. <laughs> so Ethel is just going to say, "Just going to say, you think you can destroy us? We're going to take all of you out. I'm going to cave your head in with this hammer, man. And I will roll intimidation. Okay. And roll natural one. Oh. <laughs> He laughs like he told a funny joke, uh, which catches him off guard, and now he's flat-footed. So now I take a whole shitload of damage. So you're going to take first the 1d6, which will be 2, and then you'll take the 1d4, which will be 1. So three points of damage. Now give me two flat checks here. First for the bleed. 7. Gross. And then for the mental. 7. That was two separate dice. Two separate dice. Those checks couldn't be flatter if they tried. (laughs) (laughs) And now it's sadly still my turn. Um, (laughs) Thought I could catch a break there. Yeah. Can't you just get a break for a minute? (laughs) Check out some prices on eBay, but nope. It's back to me. Uh, It's the guy that you just attacked, and by gum, he's mad. He's mad that you would do such a thing. And so he is going to... He is going to uh, try to bite you, try to debilitate you with his bite, and that's going to be a natural one, just to kick things off. He's frightened. He didn't know if he wanted to bite you. He was still laughing at your funny joke. Phenomenal. Phenomenal. He's on an emotional roller coaster right now. (laughs) Oh, boy. Okay. Uh, Fed Fumbles coming to you from Zion in Central Point. Oregon. Hi, Zion. Zion Williamson? Hi, Zion. Ooh. Zion Williamson? During a road game? This one is called Mayonnaise. You, abru- you abruptly find yourself slipping in an errant puddle. 
of fresh mayonnaise, oh which had escaped the notice of everyone nearby until now. You deal no damage and immediately fall prone. Oh, oh wow. That's it. Okay. You're just straight up prone. You're prone. All right. For my second action, I will stand up. Ethel, sure, okay. if you'd like to take your AOO, you may. I'm going to use the scimitar. Just hope for that natural 20. Let's, let's decapitate someone for once. Natural 15, though, so that'll be a 20, 32 to hit. 32 is a hit. And he, has, <laughs> he has no images left. 11 points of damage. Son of a biscuit. Okay. Nice. Uh, nice. All right, now that you've done that. Oh, no, that's... Fuck, that's two actions. Shit. All right, I'm out of action. I've got one action left. Uh, I'm going to go and try and stab you with my Kukri with the multiple attack penalty. That's going to be a 28. That hits. Okay, great. Um, I'm frightened. I know, I'm sickened. I'm sickened. Okay. That is going to be, oh, almost max damage. 17 points of uh, slashing damage. Uh, and you uh, ah. you still have the persistent bleed. That will stay on. And then he's going to stay there. I could have moved away, but I was smarting from that fall and then uh, lastly it's the guy up top uh who is going to kick things off by uh touching you with a chill touch so go ahead and uh give me a fortitude save when you say you that's still me yes yes now that you've used your reaction there's the natural 20. Ooh. Sweet. Nice. Critical success means you're <laughs> unaffected. It's <laughs> <That's> very true. <laughs> um, <laughs> yes. I love that, Generally Jeff. speaking, very true. <laughs> uh, I don't care for that. Um, so I am now going to um, move uh, away. Yeah, I'm going to move away to the south of Atticus. And that is his turn. Now we're gonna kick it over to old Atticus Grimm himself. You just got one of these denizens of laying up in your business, but you are invisible. Old Atticus Grimm himself. Uh, okay, Atticus is going to try to, he's gonna to try to get some information here. So uh, while invisible, he begins mumbling, casting a spell under his breath. Try to be quiet with this thing right next to him. And accompanying this whispering and these hand movements, materializing hmm, right in between Atticus and Ethel mm. is the Yellow King. Oh. Oh. The, 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 oh. the one that you met earlier? The, the one that we met earlier. Oh. And uh, so I'm casting Illusory Creature. So I'm going to bring in the Yellow King, see if I can gauge a reaction from any of these uh, denizens of Lang, if they've seen him or anything like that. Um, and then I will use an action to speak through the spell, basically. So I need to use an action for him to speak, and I sort of actually do it, but the spell magically transforms my voice. Um, now, the, f the question would be, Troy, if they recognize him at all uh, in which case I would need to roll a check like uh, if they know him or have spoken to him I would need to roll a deception or a performance there he is there he oh, is that wow. handsome fella and he says <laughs> oh, what is the meaning of this all right so he just appears oh, I love this uh, okay and uh, they all look and they look at each other and then they look out the door to the north Hmm. <gasps> oh, whoa. He's in the door to the door to the door. The door, the door, the door, the door, the door. And that's it? What and else do they do? They look out the door and they look uh, out the door and they look at him. Um Yeah, they've been speaking in common. I guess you could say like And he'll say, he'll say, You've made a grave mistake. Something like cryptic and weird. That could be for anyone, but he's kind of looking at them. Um, all right, we'll say the one then to the south that says, hey, How did you get away from Way Raleigh? Where is she? Oh, yes, yes. Um, and I'm not sure how long like this action can go on that I'm using to, to uh, well, so I should roll probably right at this point because they, they kind of, they know who he is. Okay, all right, so what is the role in the uh, verbiage of the spell to do? 
uh, a deception or performance check if the creatures are somewhat, if you're uh, imitating a specific creature that somebody would recognize. Yep, they recognize, so go ahead and roll your deception. Okay. And is so it going to be against their perception DC? Um, it's up to you. It might be against their class DC, but perception DC is good for deception usually. Yeah. Uh, you know, uh, yeah, heads up. Uh, natural 20. Oh, oh nice. Yes. Natural 20. Uh-huh. So, come on, give me a break here. He says the perfect thing, whatever the perfect thing is. Like, oh, uh, Way Rally is. What would that be? You mean Way. You mean Way Rally, the. Uh, <laughs> I don't know how to, I don't know how to word this. We're like, uh, Way Rally told me to, to stop all this madness. These are my friends, these are her friends. And they lay down your arms. They look at each other and says, and they say, oh, no, you're trying to deceive us. You escaped. You are her prisoner. Ah, perfect. Great. We'll leave it at that. Yeah, that's Um, sort of like what I wanted. I just wanted to get some intel. Yeah, no, that was good. I was not expecting that. I had to, like, scan through months of old (laughs) images that I have here on the side. Uh Okay, very cool. Okay, uh, so we'll see how that's going to play out then. Do you have any actions left? Uh, no, so it's two actions to cast the spell, and then I figured it's another action, because it says um, you can use your actions to speak through the creature with the spell disguising your voice as appropriate. Um, you can use your actions, but yeah, I'm just going to say that that took an action, because I have to sustain the spell to give this thing any actions, and I don't want to attack right now, so all I did was use language. And basically. sustaining a spell is an action. Is an so. action. Uh, okay, great. So then let's kick it over to Suki Bear. Suki Bear. Um, yeah, Suki Bear is still a bear and this very like intriguing thing is happening between this man who actually Suki hasn't seen. Um, Suki was not there when you guys met the Yellow King. Uh, so she too. But, but did say like, you know, th- these are her friends. You, you know, play down your arms to these denizens of Lang. Yeah. Um, but she's like, oh, she's a big bear. So she's like, I'm just going to bite this guy. <laughs> I'm going to bite this guy's butt. He's, he's right in front of me. Uh, so she's going to bite the uh, denizen of Lang, who is next to Eris and Ethel, the one who's been giving them all the trouble. Okay. Um, uh, that's the one that's frightened. Oh, right. right yes. Aha. So scared because I'm a big, scary bear. Ew. That's gonna be uh, twenty-four. Twenty-four is a miss. Flat-footed, oh. flat-footed, flat-footed. Is that considered flanking? Oh wait, yeah, sorry. It's flanking it's, with the yellow king. Also, it's twenty-five. I messed up. <laughs> is it really flanking with the yellow king? Does the yellow king count as a creature in terms yeah, of? Yeah, the yellow allies? king is a creature in combat. It can. It does have an unarmed attack. So I mean, it is. It's in melee. It could attack. It would still be a mistake. It, oh, I said 25, though. I made a mistake. Oh, well, if Joe isn't just fabricating this, which by the look of his stupid <laughs> face he is, he's getting caught up in the moment over there, uh, then that would be a hit. I think Joe's telling the truth, and I'm just going to roll my damage of my bite. Okay, go ahead. Uh, so that's... Uh, I'll put it in pencil next to the creature. <laughs> eight, eight damage uh, plus nine. Eight so damage plus nine. So you want to call it 17? Uh, yeah, I'd like to call it seven. Is that the number? Yeah, <laughs> right. I can call it 17. <laughs> All right, so 17 points of damage, possibly, uh, to this uh, possibly <laughs> flanked creature. Um, you have two more actions. Yeah, I'm going to bite again uh, at the same guy. Is he looking weak, this denizen? Yeah, he's, he's been he's been pretty beat up. And okay. uh, standing up, he took another blow from uh, as Ethel. Natty 19. There you go. That's gonna hit even with the minus five. Uh, oh wait, oh yeah, it definitely will. That's gonna be a, t- gosh, 30 s- yeah. minus the five. Yeah, it's like a 29 or something. Okay, yeah, that's um, it. All right, 2d8, ooh. Five and a four, nine plus nine, that's an 18. That's great. 18 points of damage, okay. Sure hope he's, sure hope he's dead. He's still up. Damn it. Um, and then, I'm not gonna hit if I attack again. I'm or a just pretty gonna, low chance, yeah. Yeah, I'm just gonna stay where I am. I can, uh, nah, I'm gonna stay where I am. That's stay where you are? Yeah. All right, um, 
Great, ta uh, let's take some bleed damage here. It's gonna be four points of bleed damage, and then give me a flat check, DC 15. Okay. 18. Oh, yeah. the bear's blood has stopped. Thank goodness. <laughs> uh, okay, great. Let's keep it going with Eris. Haven't heard anything from Eris the cute puker. <laughs> <laughs> She would be a cute puker because she's got two mouths. So she's a cuker. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Ew. So <laughs> the one in front of me is already frightened, but the one that's right next to Atticus, the denizen, uh, none of those icons being frightened, right? Um, which one? D the one, the one below right Atticus to... is taking persistent fire and has mirror images. Okay. The one's right Yeah. I want to cool. try to demoralize that one. So Eris is going to be like, like lean over around the first sentence and being Pass like, I'm coming friend. for you next. Hey, I'm coming for you, fella. <laughs> coming for you next. Um, all right, let's. Oh, natural 20. Yeah. Oh. So yes. that's a 34. 34, all right, so that would be just a normal success, but with a 20, that kicks it up to a crit. And what did you do again? You could demoralize. I demoralized you, so it's a critical success. They're frightened too, instead of frightened. Nice. Frightened. Lowered MDCs by wow. two. Wow, so wait, does that go then to frightened three? Or did the, my frightened go down by one? I, I forgot uh, to pay attention. You were frightened? I was frightened one. The one oh yeah! At the at the end of your turn, it goes down by one. All right, so now it'll kick back to frightened two. Um, yeah, I forgot to take it off. Great, amazing. Boop boop. Okay, cool. So after that, um, I really want this baddie in front of me to go away, and I see this roof over here with some flavor wood on it. <laughs> 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 so Invisible glad we see this wall. roof. <laughs> so what I would like to do is like Eris, maybe from her vantage point, can like see a piece of wood on the overhang. Um, so she starts, you know, casting her casty stuff on it, her spells, and the wood grows, huh, surprise, chicken feet, and um, <laughs> catapults itself off chicken the roof and tries to like <laughs> impale the denizen in front of her. Um, okay, uh, so a piece of wood that's lying on the ground, we'll say, sprouts chicken feet and jumps at the denizen of Lang that you just frightened. Yes. No, no, no. It jumps in front of the one that um, jumps onto the one. The one that's on its last legs. That's in front of me. Isn't that the one you just frightened or was no, the one No, I behind? tried to frighten uh, the one next to Atticus. I'm sorry. Okay. Let me, I, I messed Should up. Should be sorry. Uh, yeah, I didn't think that one was frightened before, but whatever. Yeah, anyway. no, that's why I got confused. Um, okay, so that one's frightened too. One's got a few conditions and then this one now has no conditions. Perfect. Uh, Frighten is the white flag. Okay, so roll to hit. Okay. Well, that's a natural four. So that's, oh. a, that's a 20. That is a miss. Damn it. That, that Damn it. I tried to do the poor Damn thing it. of having it jump off the roof and it just kind of like didn't, the wind blew it. Chicken shingle <laughs> fell to the floor. Chicken <laughs> shingle. Chicken shingle. Did not up That's live up to the hype of his cousin like, Chicken Poon. Fake <laughs> curse, like chicken shingle. Chicken shingle. Chicken shingle. Scramble. Weird, weirdly specific chicken explanation. No <laughs> oh, chicken shingles. Um, That's my turn. <laughs> well, that's a hell of a turn there. Uh, <laughs> let's round out the round with Aldo. Oh, remember uh, Aldo? Yeah, I, I kind of remember him. All right, I, I doomed one. I am doomed. I'm not feeling. I'm feeling very protective of myself. I feel if I go down, it could be it for Elder Elder. Eldo. So <laughs> I, uh, I'm gonna throw an moderate acid flask at the denizen of Wang closest to me through that little gap there in the line, okay. Teddy corner. Uh, that is a 28 to hit. 28 to hit. Okay. Nice. Uh, that is five points of acid damage right now, and they will take 2d6 persistent on their turn. Ooh, okay. Uh, with my second attack, I'm going to go ahead and throw a bottle of lightning. And... 
see there. Ooh, that is a that is a thirteen to hit. That's a miss. Okay. Uh, splash. And then I'm going. I would like to aid another as uh, for my final action. I would like to aid Ethel in his next attack. Hey, uh, thanks. Yeah, and uh, I would like to use. So, what is? The, are these guys? These guys are occultism. Yeah, you, uh, you've been you've been learning a lot uh, through occultism. Okay, can I make an occultism roll to try to uh, direct Ethel on his next attack in the most effective way to hit these guys? Oh yeah, I like that. Um, okay. Yeah, so when it comes to Ethel's turn, you'll roll that and uh, see if you you're able to help. Um, okay. Would that second attack that you missed, does it still take splash damage? Oh, yes. I'm sorry. Um, that is uh, four points of splash damage. The reason I ask is it had three hit points left. Oh, nice. great. Okay. Awesome. <laughs> Thanks so for the Aldo reminder there. <laughs> kills it uh, with the splash damage. And that is the end of round four. Two, one down, two to go. Um, before we jump into round five, let's take a quick break. I think there's a chance you could finish this here in round five, but I don't really care. So it is <laughs> number two's turn. Uh, this is the one that stepped away from Suki. Uh, still flat footed until it moves another 30 feet um, and only one image to go. He sees the king in yellow and doesn't understand why he is not in fetters. Um, and so he doesn't like this and he says something where he's like, you, you take care of the, the king and I'll, I'll go after the caster. Um, and, uh, he is going to, <sighs> shit, what do I want to do here? I'm going to, I'm going to come up to Eris. You can First come action, up to me like that. right up to Eris and I'm going to try and bite you. And I'm going to roll a three and miss because I <laughs> nice. cannot roll uh, above 15. And then I'll try again with the same bite. Okay, that actually might hit. That's going to be a 30, with, even with the map. Yeah, that hits. Is that slashing, by the way? Oh, it's piercing because I'm biting you with my sharp teeth. Ew. And you're going to take... How ooh, uncouth. Ooh. Yeah, rude. Ooh, that's some damage. That is going to be 20 points of piercing damage. Okay, but listen. Hold on. <laughs> I'll listen. Um, you do that. That's like a melee strike? Yes. <laughs> um, well, whatever you Why are you, you bit, asking? Where are you going with this? Wherever you bit on me, just like yawns open. Oh, come on. Appalling my attacker, and you must succeed at a fortitude saving throw against my class oh, CC or spell Amazing. DC. Whichever it's like, you it's like it bit you and and your wound like kind of kissed it back. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just like, oh, oh, is that all you've got? Uh, all right, so I got to roll a fortitude save. Well, you got to roll a fortitude save as well. So uh, we'll roll them at the same time. Okay. Um, I rolled a 30 for my fortitude save. Well, you pass. I rolled, where's fortitude? A 22. You failed. You are clumsy one. Oh, oh man. Clumsy. From the debilitating bite. Uh, Skid, tell us about clumsy in Pathfinder 2. Uh, clumsy is a condition in which you have 
you have less agility than you had before you incurred the clumsy condition. That's correct. <laughs> there are no mechanical uh, penalties. It's really Just, a, it's a more esoteric. It's more kind of a of flavor concept. condition. <laughs> yeah, it's a flavorful kind of. Yeah. Uh, you, you take, take a status, status penalty yeah. equal to the condition value to dexterity based checks and DCs, including AC, reflex save, range attack rolls, and skill checks using acrobatics, stealth, and debris. free. Skid was thinking of the play test. <laughs> yeah, sorry. <laughs> I, where it was purely fa- flavor. But people didn't like that. <laughs> I didn't know if that was eroded or not. <laughs> I was trying to think. Uh, yeah, so I don't know if this will really uh, hurt you too much. Um, oh, but your AC, your AC is lowered, so that's pretty good. Um, okay, so that is his turn, and then it kicks over to Ethel. Okay, uh, Ethel is going to slide down with it to uh, go after this denizen that's now menacing Eris. They keep menacing Eris, and I will do a double slice, Warhammer, and Scimitar. Scimitar is the orange die. Okay. No natural 20. Uh, that's going to be a 32 on the Warhammer and a 25 on the Scimitar. Okay. Um, the Scimitar misses. The Warhammer hits, but there's still an image there. Um, actually, he, he's still flat-footed, right? Is this the flat-footed guy? The oh, guy, right. the, the yeah. running man? Yeah. yeah, so there are two hits. So the Warhammer, uh, roll a one through three, uh, roll a d6 if you roll one through three, it hits with the Warhammer. Four. All right, so yet again, the Warhammer <laughs> destroys the final image, and then the scimitar is a nice clean hit. <laughs> okay, uh, I got to roll damage, not the scimitar to hit again. Uh, that will be 16 points of damage from the scimitar. Okay, unrelated. I have an itch on my back that makes me want to end this episode, so I'll <laughs> oh, see wait. you guys later. <laughs> uh, while, you're, while you're ending the episode, I, I got to do my aid. Oh, your it- aid! Is there a chance I could bump him up to a crit with a successful aid? Uh, yes, you rolled what, a 32? That was on the Warhammer, though, the Warhammer. So I could oh. crit an image. What happens when you crit an image? Is that in 2E? Does that make it? So a this difference? is something we haven't been doing. When you crit we an image, the image just gets destroyed and it's a hit. Oh, oh, oh that's nice. fun. This could have real impact. Okay. Yeah. It um, is, surprisingly, the last sentence of this spell. <laughs> It wasn't, uh, it wasn't me. It wasn't yep. me. <laughs> it wasn't me. It wasn't me. Uh, Skid, what's going on? Wait, is, it, is Skid aiding? Yes. Yes, I, I was know. waiting for the song to complete. He likes uh, that, Jay. That is a 17 on my occultism check. Um, now, the book likes a DC 20, um, but I want I this combat to be over. <laughs> so that sounds like a crit. It sure does. Yeah. All right. Yes. All right, let me get some d Aim for the flat top. And the chat goes wild. Ah. W's so in the Matthew, chat. So Matthew, normal damage. Normal damage. Normal damage. Yeah. Uh, that will be 19 points of damage. Mm. 19 points. Wow, that Warhammer. Kicks. 2d8. It's got a little kickback. And you still have one more action, right? Because you no, score. No, that's two Johns. Okay. Uh, great. Well. I could, fl- if I had another action, I could flense you. Sadly, I don't have another action. Didn't, you, didn't Pathfinder give you enough actions? You can always get more action. You can always get more action. Right? That's true. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, where's Eris with a little haste? All right, it Who is. Who casted haste? Was that Eris? Oh, I did. Yeah. Now, this guy's got three that. images over here. Um, Atticus, you're still invisible because you haven't done anything offensive. Uh, he sees the king and he goes to grab the yellow king. To restrain him, what happens? Um. Well, and not your interpretation. Of what happens? <laughs> what does uh, Jason Bullman say? I <laughs> get him on the phone. <laughs> <laughs> um. Yeah, it just doesn't say anything. So I, I, I think you just need to roll a will save to disbelieve, mm. and uh, if you, if you believe it. Then I think what ends up happening. Oh no, yeah, you can grab it. It's, sorry, it's like it's it's real to the touch and everything. It's not like it's like a you know a hologram. hologram. It's yeah. not a hologram. It's a so it's a real. <laughs> All right, so you you create an illusion 
but I just go and touch. Do I have to roll a will save? I'm interacting with it. Does yeah. it work at all like that? I roll a will save? Yeah, to disbelieve okay. the illusion when you... Uh, uh, I mean, it actually, it doesn't say that. I mean, it's... It's basically it says it generates appropriate sounds, smells, and feels believable to the touch. But then okay. it just vaguely says, "Oh no! Any creature that touches the image or uses a seek action to examine it can attempt to disbelieve your illusion." So okay. it's just it's a will save. It's a will save. That's what that's what we're looking for here. Yeah. All right. So it's we'll like, we'll get up here, you yellow king. Oh no! I'm grabbing at this fucking thing and I rolled a natural too! Don't die! It looks like I got him! <laughs> yeah. No, I'm serious, I Troy! I got him, everybody! Everything's That's the best cool. part. And he just starts going like, No! Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> this is amazing. This is amazing! <laughs> All right, so uh, he, I'm holding you, and uh, of course that was my first action, so I want to throw you to the ground and tie you up. <laughs> I guess okay. he should. He probably should. I mean, what's, what you're doing is you're burning through my actions. Exactly. So, uh, yeah. All right, so I th I feel like I've successfully grabbed you. I say, "Who come here? You have at you!" And he goes to like throw him to the ground, um, and he goes, "Oh." <laughs> <laughs> Joy, uh, is that, this an accurate description of what the Yellow King sounded like? That's <laughs> spot on. Okay. Uh, <laughs> all right, that's going to be a 27 on the will say. Uh, well, you just no. keep doing it? No, it would just be for your one turn, wouldn't I it mean, be? I mean, this is the thing with illusion. Like, if I disbelieved once, do I lose the whole round or do I lose the action? Not? I Why not? I say yes. Why not? You failed the roll. Give me I one hate round. I this. Uh, you give you one round. Okay. All right, you. First action, he, he grabs him. The second action, he throws him to the ground. And the third action, he kisses him passionately. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Sorry, something came over me. Passionate yeah. kissing is two action. Yeah, <laughs> I It'll just well, no, it's in the next round. I think it's uh, it's awesome and I'm a very so... important difference. There are other creatures that it would just attack, and if it hits it with a strike, it destroys it. So like he's, he's you know, but this particular image of magic in the game. Your this particular school of magic or the asshole. This particular <laughs> creature, you are inclined to capture and not kill. I think it's awesome. It's true. He does not want to kill him, and uh, somewhere along the way, he caught feelings. Um, so that's his round. <laughs> Romantic feelings. <laughs> for the yellow king. I dreamed of this. I was so afraid to share. When back when Ray Raleigh had you, I wanted to kiss you so badly. <laughs> it's Atticus's let me, turn. Let me taste you. <laughs> will you sustain the spell and kiss back? It's your turn. I will sustain the spell <laughs> and kiss back. <laughs> um, like, yeah, yeah. Why not? Off me. I, I'm gonna. All right, Atticus is gonna sustain the spell. Um, the yellow king is then going to bite the denizen of Lang as he's like kissing him. <laughs> and uh, so he's gonna try to like, ah, just bite him uh, and really, really freak him out. Okay. So this is a uh, straight up uh, attack roll against, <laughs> against your AC. I rolled a 34. And uh, so that's a hit. That's a hit. That That's... That's a hit. And so he believes this thing is so real. He takes, he's taking mental damage. He takes yeah, mental yeah. damage. Oh, and he takes me. max <laughs> mental damage. Oh. Eight, eight points of mental damage. Wow. I've this been bitten in real awesome. life. I'm so sorry, but my brain will not allow me to do this. He has like images, right? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's true. That's right. That's true. That's interesting, isn't it? Yeah, but the real one would. Uh, would grapple him. I mean, do the, all the images just copy yeah. what he's doing? Yeah. Well, what do you want to do, Troy? Do you want me to roll to destroy an image? Or, I mean... <sighs> We're getting this into is, it tonight. This is the debate here. <laughs> is the illusion that he is holding against his will on the ground, as the illusion goes to bite him, does the illusion have to actually hit the creature, or does it bypass the images? It doesn't even exist! It is just attacking the mind. Um, if you were to cast a mental spell on a creature that had multiple multiple images, would you have to roll against the images? No. No. I don't, okay. What we what? I was gonna say uh, you would if it if it had if it was a ranged if strike. It was a targeted spell. If it was but, a targeted ranged attack roll, you would have to. Right. If it just gave you a save, it, it doesn't. But this is an attack roll, not a save. So. So I think you do need to roll against the images. Uh, okay, and there are I how many? I was ready to give it to you, but you talked yourself out of it. Um, there are how many? 
There's he's got max images. Um, so he's, you got to roll. So he still has all three images. Yeah. So you got to roll, so roll a one a... on a one d four. Okay. Uh, I rolled an eight on a d eight. So a four on a d four. So it destroys an image. Did you roll a d eight? Did you roll a d four? I didn't have a d four on me. I rolled a d eight, but it's the same thing. You, do you own a d four? <laughs> uh, it's just not with me at the moment. Joe, do you, do you need me to mine? lend me and lend you a d four? I'm, They're not safe with actually, kids in the house. Actually, I don't think I have here. one either. Oh, wait, here. Okay. Kate's got one I found, I found one. What does it oh, matter? Yeah. All right, I'll roll again. I sure. want you to roll the D4. Sure. It's just embarrassing. Ah, oh, two. You lucky <laughs> bastard. On a D8, that would have been a one. Exactly. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> all right, so your illusion destroys an image? So yeah, weird. That's, that's so, doesn't make any sense. Doesn't make any sense. Well, uh, all I can think damage. is, yeah, Suki, I mean, you're a bear. <laughs> <laughs> Look, the mirror image is generated. It, a mirror image is an illusion. It is yeah. generated by his mind and there are figments that you see. His, in his mind, the thing just hit an image. It convinces him it's real and the image is destroyed. Perception is reality. This is awesome. Stop being jerks. <laughs> You're Psycho, it's psychosomatic pain. Have Sookie a little imagination says, for a minute. Says, this is I, awesome. Oh, oh sorry, like sorry. It. So that is one action. Then uh, Atticus is going to move into the doorway. And can I uh, see up into this doorway? It, it looks like there's an opening here, but I, I'm not sure how far he could see. If it's just um, a hallway or if it's just another room. Yes, but hold on, Ethel, we forgot to do your oh, uh, yeah. bleed and mental. So we'll Do the flat checks first? Yeah, no, I'll, no, no, I'll, no, I'll give you the damage first. first. Uh, four points, four and four, so eight total. Um, oh, and now give me two DC 15s. First for the bleed. 19. Nice. And three on the mental. All right. Well, hey, no the more. mental's a lot less, so. No more bleed. No more bleed. Um, and then my dude, uh, Joe, before you go there, uh, he was frightened. Oh, no, this was the one flat-footed. He's still flat-footed. He has one image left. Can't remember what that circle is, but okay. Uh, Atticus, you go look out the door. Yeah, but I was thinking differently. I'm still going to do this, but um, I was thinking I was invisible, but I am, I'm i not invisible as soon as that guy attacks one of his mirror images. So he becomes visible, but he's walking past this doorway, and I want to see if I can see anything because, you know, they motioned up there. They looked through that door. He feels like Way Raleigh might be right through here, so he's just trying to see if the, the enemy is... is ajar right now, and so you can see out... Uh, Along just partial. The, the left side there, yeah. And that's as far as I see, is like uh, 10, to, not even 10 feet. Yeah, wide the wall the of, of that outside room is the same width as the room you're in. Uh, Do you know what I mean? Yeah, but but what about the depth? Like uh, like this, is that a wall? Like right no, there? No, I'm just like, I'm using the, the, uh, the, the slant of the doorway to like show you the extent of your vision. You know what I mean? All right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, okay. In that case... I'm going to attempt to stealth uh, up to the door and just peek. So I'm going to uh, attempt a stealth check to peek into the room around the door. All right, give me a stealth check. And not be seen doing it. Uh, that is a natural one. Wait, <laughs> I might have to hero point this. <laughs> um, I always forget about those. Yeah. Um, oh, this is a tough situation. Uh, yeah, I'm going to hero point it. Okay. I'm going to re-roll that stuff. Re-roll. Natural one. Oh, my God. Got <laughs> <laughs> a lot of luck with those today. Sheepers. So you exit the room into the next room. I don't exit the room. I peek around the door. Aren't you invisible? Yeah. No. Oh. Oh. Became I became a... visible when my illusion attacked oh, the guy. Oh, 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 oh. Okay. You peek out the door. And you see uh, a rooftop. Um, you actually took a peek out here your first time when you came, after you spoke to the Yellow King. Um, <clears throat> if you remember, there's a part of the building that's like crumbled. Mm -hmm. And you maybe there was a time where you could access this area from outside or from uh, another hallway from within. But all that is crumbled, so it's completely exposed uh, to the elements out here. Um, and there was nothing out there before. Um, well, now it's dark, and there is something out there. Uh, so I'll reveal it to you. Oh, 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 oh,
whoa, whoa. There whoa. is a massive blue scale dinosaur looking creature with uh, enormous wings and a howdah strapped to its back. How do you do? And you peek out and it just turns its head towards the door. Oh, God. And like blows smoke out of its nostrils. <laughs> uh, Atticus stumbles back. Uh, oh. All right, so that was I have one move action. And then second move action is going to be to move past. <laughs> oh, boy. Um, I'm going to move past Aldo <laughs> onto the top of the stairs and just be like, there's a hideous creature in there. Something <laughs> unbelievable. Ah, this is a nightmare. Because that is what I am feeling right now. Yeah. Okay. That is the best way I can describe it. A horrifying nightmare. <laughs> and it's Suki's turn. Okay. Um, I'm still fucking bear. And Suki goes, Bruh! and she's going to chomp at that's Suki. The, yeah, that's Suki. Uh, this whole combat, that's been Suki. She's going to chomp at the uh, denizen of Lang, who she's been attacking. Okay. I'm um, trying to kill it. Uh, natural 16 plus. It's going to hit. It's plus. Uh, brr, uh, da, 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 plus 16. Plus so 16, 32. 32. That's a hit. Yep. And attacking with my jaws again. Ooh. Ho ho. 14 plus 9. 23. 23 points, of points of damage. Wow. Nice. <laughs> Joe, did you um, sustain the illusion? Yeah, I just sustained the illusion and moved twice. Okay. Um, so that was my first chomp, and I'm going to attack the same denizen. How is he looking? I thought he was not looking good. Um, he's looking all right. What? <laughs> You're, okay. Remember, these guys have fast healing. Oh, They're like, shit. at the end of every round, they're getting some HP back, so you really have to like zone in on one. Take that guy out, zone in on the other guy. Uh, second what you attack. guys are doing? Second attack, I don't think it's going to hit. That's a 23 or 24. 24, no, even though it's flat footed. Um, mm. uh, that is not a hit. Rats. Um, One action left. You want to aid, uh, try to aid a, a friend or yeah. uh, do a knowledge check? Ye no, I'm a dumb bear. Um, <laughs> I'm just a dumb bear. I'm going to aid. Looking for a jar of honey. I think. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Bob. I forgot about the honey. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> get the honey. Uh, I'm gonna aid Ethel. I've been trying to help Ethel out because he's been taking a lot of the, the damage. Okay. Uh, all right, guy, when it gets to Ethel's turn, just remember you have that action uh, to see if you can aid, and maybe I'll let you aid with a 17 instead of a 20 as well. Oh. Um, Not an 18 or a 19. No, that's crazy. It's either 17 or 20. Um, great. Uh, it is now Eris's turn. Eris? A little clumsy right now, Eris is. Oh, you know what? Eris, you had four mirror images when I bit you. Oh my god, I did. You did. Um, <laughs> so. Or three images. Or, uh, how embarrassing. So Troy, can you, you have a D4? Can you retcon? We are doing that. I don't. Um, yeah, no, I do have a D4. <laughs> Let's see if I hit. I please roll a one. Two. All right, so you're not clumsy, and it takes away an image. And I, also, I don't take 20 points of damage, right? No, you don't take 20 points of damage. Wow. <laughs> you guys will live forever. <laughs> uh, okay, yeah, for, I got the images right there on you and uh, just forgot. Son of a gun. Well, that's awesome. So Eris feeling <laughs> real good, not being bit. Um, I'm gonna cast shield on myself. So it'll last right. my next turn, gives me plus one bonus May, see? Um, and then telekinetic projectile, some wooden thing or whatever on the ground at okay. this one that we keep hitting that's right in front of us. Uh, so attack. Let's go. Okay. Oh. Eight. Wooden scroll case flies. So that's a 24 to hit, which doesn't hit. So I'm gonna, oh. um, reason my hero point. Cause if you don't, Use it, you lose it. That's what they say. Um, and I'm just, just want to hit. Natural ten, so that does hit. So it hits. Okay, there you what's go. the total? Uh, tw uh, it's a ten, so it's a twenty or twenty-six. 
Yeah, that's it. He's flat footed, so it's barely a hand. <laughs> Wait, yeah, uh, well, sorry, what was this? Telekinetic projectile. Did you, <laughs> is it your second attack of the round or is that, was it's that something It's my second else? attack. So it would well, take it's not, the my, it's, not my it's not my second attack. I cast a shield on myself. It's my second action. Oh, okay, cool, cool. Yeah, let me just grab a couple more D, D, D6s. Oh yeah, do you have some? <laughs> just need like a ton of them. Um, <laughs> just need like a ton? <laughs> just need like a shit ton of them. Uh, literal, a literal a scroll case. Cool, cool, cool. Two, three, four. It's a jagged three, scroll three. case. So that's eight plus uh, four. So that's 12 points of damage. Okay. Dead. <laughs> Still alive. Damn it. Um, but uh, he's very upset uh, that he got hit by a scroll case. And you have one more action or a shield, two actions. Telekinetic projectile is two actions. Well, there you are. Uh, okay. Now, shield. I feel like shield is something we were getting wrong as well. So. Do you know? I don't believe so. Uh, it durates until the start of my next turn, and I get a plus one circumstance bonus to AC until the start of my next turn. Does not require a hand to use. Uh, it has a hardness of 10. We haven't been doing shield wrong. What? Who I said we're doing that. shield wrong? There was something I thought we were doing wrong. Gui- guidance. Shield. Guidance. Guidance. That's we what guidance you were doing wrong. We were messing up guidance. Yeah. What was yes. I doing? Uh, you can't cast it on the same target more than once in an hour. And well, you cast it on yourself a few times in, like, yeah, I a, in a combat. Yeah, one episode. <laughs> <Yeah. Self>. <laughs> <laughs> spam it's like, it. yeah, I knew what I was doing. I just didn't <laughs> want to be called out for it. Just remember with shield, you can uh, use shield block um, to, like, as a reaction, but then you can't uh, cast shield again for 10 minutes. Oh. Um, which is basically within the same combat. Uh, all right. Are you done? I'm done. All right, it's Aldo's turn. Aldo, the killer of this group, the stone cold killer. You saw Atticus run past you with a look of fear in his eyes. Yeah, they they have something, Aldo. Something we haven't seen. A Aldo. creature, immense. Well, I've got to say this for myself. And Aldo moves <laughs> over That's and so... he takes a peek through the door and uh, says like, Blimey, bloody hell, you were right. That thing's horrible looking. <laughs> I don't want to go in there again. And uh, that was Close two the actions. Door. Close the door. Uh, yes, yeah, third action, he closes the door. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> That'll stop it. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm going to walk over and get a glimpse of it from adjacent to Ethel, if I can see it from there. Uh, so I was like, oh, no. And uh, he would love to hit the guy that is fighting Ethel and Eris and Suki right now, but he does not have an angle on him. So he's going to throw an acid bomb, acid flask on the one who is trying to grapple the illusion. Uh, That is a 29 to hit. That's a hit. Okay, so that's five points of acid damage and 2d6 points of persistence. Well, there's a mirror image. Oh, uh, okay. So there's three total, right? So it's a D3 now. Okay. Uh, D6, yeah, D6. One, two hits. What right. if I had Destroys. a D3? <laughs> Which I do. Destroys, Destroys an, an image, image. Uh, but he does take four points of splash. Nice. Splish, splash, I was taking a bath. Okay. Is that your turn? That's, that's it for me. Okay. Gonna be top of round. Oh wait! Oh no! You no! Don't no! Have I have one, one more action. Uh, I'm gonna use. I'm gonna use use guidance on uh, Suki. Oh, thanks! I keep forgetting I have the occult pendant, which allows me to do that. So. Oh, that's Ooh. awesome! Yeah. Suki says thank you. Oh, she's a bear. He goes. Yeah. <laughs> Where's my honey? <laughs> I'm still pissed about the honey. Any of you have the honey? Let me know. I forgot about the honey. They said there like. was honey! <laughs> I she, loses her, she loses her accent, too, when she's an animal. She's like, where's the honey? <laughs> I'm from New York now. <laughs> this dumb dumb here, it's top of round six. Uh, I've been, by the way, I, I'm, I'm taking that fire damage every round, uh, this jackass, and... Uh, oh, wait, are you taking that acid damage? Or did that guy? Damage? Or did that guy beef it, who had the acid damage? That guy beefed. Oh, okay. Um, but just, I am <laughs> just for just for the record, beefed means die. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Beefed. He beef he beefed it real big. 
It means die. Uh, okay. Beefed it hard, Matthew. Beefed it real hard. And uh, so this one here to the south is uh, also going to try the debilitating bite here on Ethel. And a uh, big old miss. So I'll try it again yeah. and misses again. Yeah. Uh, and then he's going to move to try and rid himself of flat-footed, but that will provoke from Ethel. Okay, scimitar. Natural 17, so a, 20, a 34 to hit. Oh, yeah, that is it. <laughs> you want that natural 20 Dude, so and bad. And if, if you had rolled the 35, he was still flat-footed until he moved. That would have been a crit. They wouldn't have uh, beheaded him, though. It has to be natural 20. That's right. Um, that's uh, 10 points of damage. 10 points of damage. All right, so he gets out of the way, but um, takes a big all hit in the meantime. And now it goes to you, Ethel. Okay, Ethel is going to follow, take a step up diagonally, and then I'm going to, you know what? I'm not gonna do the double slice. I'm gonna try to go for the natural 20. Um, and just go scimitar, 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 because I actually, if I hit on all three, I get increasing damage because of the scimitar's uh, forceful property. Oh, cool, yeah. Okay, okay, so first swing with the scimitar. Just fire, fire, fire. Natural 16. Oh. Uh, 33 to hit. He's going to yeah. be dead before you can even cut his head off. <laughs> it's yeah. possible. <laughs> um, all right, so you get three. You moved. So you only I'll, get two I'll do attacks. two attacks, yeah. yeah. All right, okay, so that's, so that's uh, 10 points of damage. Okay. All right, and one more attack with the scimitar. Come on, natural 20. Natural 20. Natural 12. Uh, that'll be a 24 to hit, which I think Boom. is a miss. Yeah. Uh, oh man, it's gonna happen. It's gonna be so sweet, or it's gonna happen against somebody significant. I'm gonna walk in there and take on the uh, the, the the dinosaur. Yeah. <laughs> Just start swinging with the scimitar. <laughs> uh, all right. So that was Ethel, and now it. Oh, is uh, give me my give me my mental damage. Oh yeah, your mental damage. Give me a flat check. Two points of mental. Ten on the flat. Ten check. on the flat. Man, that is persistent. Uh, all right, the one uh, right to the north there will uh, is still struggling against this yellow no. king. Get off of me! <laughs> Tell me. <laughs> all right, so another will save. I better pass this will save. All right, I rolled one higher than last time, so that is a 28. That's a success. I rolled a 27 last time. You rolled a natural 2? You have a plus 25? I have a plus 17 will save. You said you rolled a natural two. Yeah. When, last time? Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay, well then I rolled a 19. I thought I rolled a 27. Anyways, I rolled a 28 now. Yeah, that's a success. You disbelieve okay. the illusion. I said, ah, ah, ah! Who did I kiss? <laughs> uh, and, uh, well then, so now he's gone, right? No, the, no, no. Stays out there? You okay. just know that he's not really the Yellow King, but he is a, he's a combatant. This, this, this isn't the Yellow King! But you know that it's like, it's an illusion. It's it's a figment of your mind, but it feels real to you, you know? No, it's, no something isn't right here. Something isn't right. He could it's, keep this, kissing him It's if he this guy's to. fault. Any attacks, Ethel. Um, oh, with the kukri. Come on. <laughs> Ooh, Natty 18. Uh, From that prone. Is... From prone. Because he was on the ground. Yes. You, re- you said, I'm misquoting you. It's true. He wrestles him to the ground. That's true. Uh, <laughs> all right, so from prone, he, sl- <laughs> ah, ah! he slashes at you. Uh, would have been a 36, so now it'll be a 34. Is it minus two to attack while prone? Uh, 34 yeah, hits, but it's not a crit. Like, would 36 have been a crit? Yes. <laughs> oh, damn it. Why did you- <laughs> damn it! All right, so that is 16 points of regular, uh, and the bleed comes back. Uh, Ethel, then, Ethel is uh, low on HP. Oh boy. Well, he's got one attack left and he misses um, with a 20. And Ethel gets that bleed back. So Ethel's been taking it here. Uh, let's see if you guys can can, uh, can finish it off. Um, Atticus. Um. <laughs> um. Atticus is going to... Hmm. He'll spend an action to sustain, sustain the Yellow King. Okay. Who will then stand up. 
Oh. And I can't control him, but move him over in between the two denizens. Uh, and the one at the bottom, he's like, I'm coming for you. And uh, he starts coming toward the other one in a threatening manner. <laughs> okay. And uh, Atticus will... Um, he's going to step up into the room and cast shield. Okay. Atticus steps up, cast shield. Suki. Uh, all right. Suki is going to move toward uh, the denizen in the lower corner that the king just went after. The king just went after. Uh, and I have 10 foot reach as a bear, so I can stay further away where I am. And I'm just going to lunge at him with my uh, jaws again because my bite is stronger than my claws. Uh, just keep fighting. Okay, and you have 10 feet reach, right? Yep, as a, as a bear, because I'm large. Uh, is that going to... Oh, my page just... 15. Yeah, that's uh, 31 to hit. Oh, that's a hit. Or uh, 29 to hit. Yep. And going to roll my damage. Really hope I just kill this guy. Oh, hi. Uh... uh 20, uh, 11 plus 9, 21? 20. I can't do math. 20. Jesus. Both are enough to kill him. Yay! All right. All right. So, uh. One see, lang left. Uh, do one all lang large lang. creatures in 2E have reach? I don't know. Does your bear say reach in the stat block? Do they yep. say reach in stat blocks? Yep. I, my attacks have a 10 foot reach. Oh, cool. my, my battle form is large, and your attacks have a 10-foot reach. I assumed oh, nice. it was all large, but... Uh, all right, I moved, I attack. Uh, if I move again, I can't attack again, but... Uh, I will move. You know what? I'll lumber as this big old bear up to the northern corner. I want to nice. protect my, my friends, so I kind of... And then put my paws down and stand, growling. Uh, <sighs> uh, foaming like at the it. mouth. Bloody from this other... That is I like it. And we forgot to have you roll to aid uh, Eris oh, last time. We yeah. That's, uh, we lost it. Well, rats. Oh, we got a lot going on. <laughs> I don't know. We need aid. Maybe I'll find. Oh, it was for Ethel. I'm sorry. It was for Ethel. I forgot. Uh, but speaking of Eris, you're up. Okay. I want this thing to die. <laughs> and I'm gonna. It's got two images left, right? Or is it one? Uh, just one image. One yeah. image. All right. Here's what's going to happen. I'm casting Magic Missile as a three-action thing. So that's what's going to happen. Pew, 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 pew. Or actually, pew, pew, pew. Um, <laughs> okay. Where's all my D4s? Oh, look at all my plethora of D4s. Joe let you borrow. I've right? got plenty. Got so many extra. Uh, so when I do that, three. Oh yeah. So that's seven, eight points of damage. Okay. Should I roll one d4 for like that first one to see if it hits? Does a magic missile always land true? Yes. Oh. Cool. Yeah, so you don't have to. That's a good spell to cast because you don't have to worry about mirror image. Well. That's all my actions. <laughs> Love it. <laughs> Aldo, you are up. You're a stone cold killer. What do you do? All right. Come on. Finish Aldo. It. All right. He's like, I'm getting bloody tired of these bloody denizens of Lang on my bloody plane. <laughs> Material plane. Or whatever. At the dream plane, I guess wrong. Uh, he's going to throw a bottle of lightning. It's, it's got. It's got one left. He's going to throw it at this guy. Okay. Uh, that is a 31, and he has one image. He has one image, yeah. So one to three on a d6. All right. <sighs> All right, so he takes four points of splash. God! Uh, a single roll. These images. That illusion of mirror image is so stupid. <laughs> so I can see which one's the real one. <laughs> stupid. He's no longer frightened. No images. He's wide open. Two more attacks. All right. Yeah, two more actions. Throw a uh, pointlessly throw a fire <laughs> thing at him. Uh, actually, uh, twenty-six. Just misses. <laughs> All right. This is another problem I have with the game. 
So we were talking about this, but I, I won't get into it. No, tell um, me. Well, just the the idea of flanking. Like I understand, like why mechanically as a balance issue that only the people on either side of him would be, count to be flanking. But it just doesn't seem to make any sense to me that you could be fighting opponents on either side of you and be distracted by them, but be completely able to concentrate on me, who's standing happens to be standing at a ninety degree angle away from these other two people. That doesn't make any sense to me. But I agree. We Correct. can't, it is we can't stupid. legislate all this stuff now. It's, it's stupid. I'm sure you're right that it is, it's a tactical grid game balance issue for whatever reason, but it makes no sense. And yeah. I don't want to hear any arguments from any of you dummies out there yeah. who tell me <laughs> that, uh, that because it's a fantasy world, I'm ludicrous for thinking things need to make sense in terms of <laughs> physics. Like, yeah. Get the hell out of here with that. Yeah. It's nonsense. <laughs> yeah. The that only is, uh, thing that makes the fantasy world fun is that there are rules in it. <laughs> you and know Troy doesn't mean? make the rules. Right. So. Yeah. Yeah. And not game Thank rules, you. but not like game rules. physical like rules. A world that, that you can, can wrap your head around. <laughs> exactly. Um, okay. So uh, four more points of splash damage. Four more points of splash. Final action. And final action, I'm going to clasp my hand around my occult pendant and cast Guidance on Ethel. Yeah. Thank guidance you. Guidance on Ethel. Hey, uh, may one of your blade or your hammer strike true. Well, he is going to need it. It's round seven. Son of a gun. <laughs> you thought this was over in round five. I just said it uh, to say something. <laughs> Uh, but it is now Ethel's turn because the denizen of Lang that had a higher initiative is dead. Okay, I care more about killing this guy than I do beheading him, so I'm going to do a double slice. Okay. So, guy, this is going to be plus one. A rare, unselfish move from Matthew Kaplan, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Who said that? Guy, this gives me plus one. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, uh, <laughs> I rolled a natural 19 on the scimitar. Oh uh, my god! I'm getting closer. Plus okay. one. <laughs> With the, it doesn't matter. I mean, it's still gonna hit. But yeah, so I think I'm it the, should add to the yeah. result on the die. It's, it's like a pre-tax total. deduction. Uh, you count the guidance before you add the modifier. <laughs> yes, <laughs> that's like modifies yes, exactly. the die roll. Don't add that um, before you calculate the tip. <laughs> <laughs> that is a 26 on the warhammer oh. and a. Oh. Uh, Oh, a 36 on the scimitar. Oh, so a miss and an almost crit. Oh. 26 is a miss on the Warhammer? Yeah. Ugh. Yeah. Okay. That's Unless you're point. considered flame. No, you're not flame. That's a n- <laughs> Even with the... Uh, yeah, that has to go. That illusion is in the way. In Pathfinder 3rd Edition, I propose that any flanked creature is flanked for any opponent. Agreed. Agreed. Flat-footed. Flat-footed, considered flat-footed against any any opponent when they are flying. Am I misremembering, or did they do that in the playtest? I don't I felt, remember that. I felt like that's what it was I in second like edition. Did. But then, like, I looked it up. We had to look it up for something, and, like, it says it right there. Yeah. From what I can remember, like, to the creatures that are flanking you, you are flat-footed. 19 points of damage on the scimitar. Okay. And wow, I'm that's a good roll. I'm going to swing again with the scimitar. Yeah. Come on! Natural 20 doesn't matter, right? Natural 18, so a 25, <laughs> which is a miss. Oh. What's going on with your team? And I guess now I'll take bleed and mental damage. Yeah. Yeah, you will. How are you doing? Are you okay? No, Seven. I'm not, not okay. okay. Seven toned. That sounded like you, Matthew. Right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm not okay. I'm not, okay. I'm not to, okay. All right, the flat check for the bleed. Seven toned. Natural 19. Okay, no more bleed. And it's a quick 10 bleed. on the mental damage, so I continue to be racked by mental anguish. Yeah, which was a pre-existing condition. <laughs> yeah, seriously. It's very character appropriate. Yeah, um, visions of your ex-wife uh, throwing your stuff out onto the sidewalk. <laughs> uh, no, I spent, a, I spent a lot of time on that doll ass phone. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, it is the denizen of, sadly, the denizen of Lang's turn. Um, Wait, he was prone, Troy. Did he ever stand up? If, if so, he would have provoked. And if so, does that give me a bonus, that one that hit I missed on? He he was prone. You made me lay down. And uh, I didn't take my final action to... All right, there was the... 
I don't I think remember I took if my you final stood action up. to stand up because the first one was to disbelieve the illusion. <clears throat> the second one was the attack, and you were like, "You're laying down." Did I then attack again? I think I did attack again, like a dummy. I didn't stand up. All right, so yeah, that was a hit. Again, give me the damage. Yes. <laughs> yes. God, he's so excited. <laughs> I rolled two ones. Uh, so that'll be nine <laughs> points of damage. Nine points of damage. Well, it's his turn, and he says, my friend maybe didn't get you, but I will. And he lunges at the <laughs> king, yellow king and uh, goes to grab at him. And I rolled a natural three, uh, oh so he thinks he's right. And describe how you murder this guy <laughs> while he's hugging an illusion. I'm, I'm pretty sure Suki. that's the guy that already disbelieved it, but sorry. Go ahead. Continue. Suki bites his face off or something. I bite his butt because he turned his back to me. Um, yeah. No, I, I think Suki, yeah, as a bear form, she's bloodthirsty. I think she just absolutely rips his head just off with her mauls jaws. Him, yeah. like truly revenant style bites him in the back oh. and like you know drags him across like a rag doll oh. and then just spits him out and she turns back to the group like a puppy just dripping <laughs> blood Harris <laughs> pets you on the head oh i love you when you're this way suki <laughs> and he's dead the kid the yellow king turns to ethel oh. just lays a hand on his shoulder and says your wife still loves you <laughs> and then he vanishes. And Everything you say is a lie. And I try to, cave, I try to attack the yellow king. We're all real safe. Uh, you don't know my wife. I was gonna earlier. I was gonna you have don't Ethel. Know my wife. I what wondered round? if Ethel should attack the yellow king. What round were we on, Troy? <laughs> you were in round seven. Round seven. No, excuse me. Uh, more than that, right? Yeah, no, round seven. Okay. Uh, that was round seven. And uh, you're right, Joe. That he he did already disbelieve the illusion, but. Uh, he only had 16 hit points left, I think, that uh, the combination of Suki, uh, Eris, and Aldo would have taken him out. So yeah. now he falls. Three denizens of Lang lie dead, but as you know, they, uh, their bodies will disappear and reform on the plateau of Lang. They fear not. It is only a temporary death. measure. However, to the there north. Is great danger to the north, Atticus is whispering to the group. How do I stop this mental anguish? Um, I yeah. guess if you just roll flat checks forever, so you <laughs> probably die if you don't. Magical heal, roll. magical healing won't stop the bleed or the persistent mental damage. I think magical healing stops persist persistent damage. You do have you have that elixir of life. Yeah, today. I will oh, drink yeah. the elixir of life. You can take steps to recover, or an ally can help you, allowing an additional flat check. This is usually. Oh, that's something else you can do with your third action, is try and help someone, uh, aid someone in their flat check, because they can roll the flat check twice. Oh. Mm. Um, but <laughs> that usually means you have to use two actions to do that. So, anyways, look into this. There might be something here uh, you can do. But anyways, right, yeah, drink your potion. 3d6, right? I think so. As you're chugging that potion, and you guys are gathering yourselves, and Atticus is trying to explain what he saw, Aldo trying to explain what he saw, you hear a voice, a booming voice, coming from the direction of that dinosaur fucking creature uh, that just, it sounds like uh, nails on glass. It's like, who are you? We'll see you next week. Yeah, <laughs> that's going to be... This is going to be tough. I'm very scared. I'm actually very scared. Uh, I don't think we're supposed to fight it. I think, I think we can parlay. It can yeah, be yeah probably. Yeah. They're probably looking to negotiate something. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see you next week. <laughs> 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 Ha, ha, ha.